Hi there, my name is Greg Thorson. I'm a professor of political science at the University of Redlands. I'm creating here a short tutorial to assist students with learning how to map data in Stata. And so first would uh, urge students to go then to the course Moodle site or program Moodle site. And you'll see there that there are a series of files that have been posted up there. One, a descriptive maps assignment. I'll be running through a little bit of that today as well as two really different sets of data and corresponding maps to map data. The goal here is to create some descriptive uh, maps uh, for use with data. So we've got a state data file that corresponds with a state's map and a world data file that corresponds with a world map and then a descriptive map.do file to assist you um, with the rather uh, lengthy um, commands that are required by Stata to produce um, maps. So why don't you first go ahead and download all six of these files into a single folder um, on a USB drive. Uh, and so that should be your first step. Once you've got those into um, a, uh, um, a folder, go ahead then and let's launch the state data file .dta. And you'll see that this state data file has a whole bunch of data um, in it, uh, including, for example, this is state level data. So if you go and take a look in your data browser, um, this is all stuff um, that's been compiled uh, with a state level unit of analysis. And you can look at a whole host of data in terms of what uh, uh, what types of factors are present. So for example, each state's uh, percentage of its residents with an advanced degree or um, their cigarette taxes, uh, voting data, um, all sorts of things, including some newly added things about like NAEP test scores. Those are a national um, test scores uh, in terms of how students are doing um, in in, in high school and or elementary school. Uh, uninsured rates, foreclosure rates, Gini coefficients, which measures inequality. There's a whole host of things that you're gonna be able to map. So if you'd open up that uh, file, which again is the state data file .dta, um, and then open on the other side of your screen or on another monitor, um, uh, a state's, um, the, the actual do file. Uh, th that helps us learn then how to do this. Now, again, I put a few comments on the top of the do file. How do you create these choropleth maps using SPMAP? First of all, do you have the SPMAP module installed? Um, and so, for example, one of the best ways to learn about how to use software in Stata or, or individual modules in Stata, Stata is to type the word help um, and then the name of the module, in this case, SPMAP. And here then you can see lots of information um, about uh, SP map, what attributes you can use in base map options, all the different types of maps that you can use, um, including, for example, in Choropleth maps, um, a variety of ways that you can make breaks in terms of for the classes and things like that. So there are many, many options that you can read through on how to do this, uh, as well as some sample language down at the bottom and more descriptive narratives down towards the bottom as well. Um, so I'd encourage you, anytime you have a question, to look at the help file. If you don't have SPMAP installed, then you simply type in uh, ssc space install space SPMAP, and that will install the SPMAP module. Okay. So it's important then to have the data file, the map files, and the do file all in the same folder. Uh, and so here again, we're actually gonna work this time on the state data file, uh, and we're gonna run a generic example uh, in just a minute or so. Notice there's lots of color schemes, op color schemes uh, available to you. Uh, so you should feel free um, to, to uh, you know, get a little bit creative. So here I'm gonna be looking at example two in the do file, um, exactly looking at um, how we create maps using um, uh, these data files and their corresponding map files. And so basically it's the SP map, uh, and then we pick some variable 
the variable that we're using here is actually dem advantage okay and so if you want to take a look at dem advantage it's the dem advantage in the mass public in the year 2012 in other words survey data that shows at the state level what the partisan advantage is how many more democrats or how many more republicans were there vis-a-vis -vis the other party in each state we're going to map that using the states map.dta the states map.dta all it does is it has an identifier for the id number and then x y longitudes uh, so it allows us to map that in you can decide how many um, quantiles you actually want here I, I created into five equal um, size quintiles essentially when you have five the color scheme I did red to blue since that seems to be a very common the lowest values being red what we associate with more Republican Republican uh, dominance versus blue which would be Democratic dominance um, and then you can add for example uh, a specific title uh, in this case I put one that Democratic advantage in the mass public uh, and then its relative size I use this delimit because it saves me from putting three hash marks at the end of every line it just allows me to continue on the command um, for as long as I want until I hit the slash delimit again uh, well it actually it, when I put the semicolon it would issue the command so I highlight all those things again don't include the the, the comment lines and then I uh, alternate click under tools and hit execute selection and so now then to create the map that's all I do and you can see then um, our uh, the democratic advantage among the mass public easily mapped and you can see then those that have at least a 13 point democratic advantage are in the darkest blue you get California North Dakota several other states that are listed there and those that are most red that actually have like a 36 point Republican advantage down to a seven point Republican advantage those would be the lowest qu quintile the nine states that are most Republican are in the darkest red so notice how easily um, that g mapping data can be much more powerful than simply listing data. Um, if you simply listed data, it really, you wouldn't get a sense of the geographic concentrations or distributions of the data. And yet if you map it, it can be much more powerful. Again, these maps can be saved. You simply save the file uh, and save that back to your USB drive and you can easily then incorporate that uh, into a Microsoft Word or other document. Okay, so very easy, by the way, then, too, if you want to change the variable instead of using dem advantage, let's use another example. Let's say cigarette taxes uh, 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 would be what we'd actually want to look at. We want to look. So then we would simply go in and take out Democratic advantage um, and paste then in that new variable, the cigarette tax in 2012. We'd probably go in and change the title as well um, and change that so it would read. Um, uh, um, so th and type in then uh, that this would be the cigarette tax um, per pack in 2012 okay and then very simply we just highlight that up again alternate click and go ahead and execute that selection and you can see now we've actually got a map of cigarette taxes and where the highest cigarette taxes of at least two dollars to four dollars and 35 cents a pack those eight states that have the highest cigarette taxes in the dark blue and those that are um, uh, in the dark red have the lowest taxes maybe for example we don't really want to use red to black in this case and we want to actually switch the color scheme simply go into the red blue or the f color option and let's say this time we want to go greens um, to, to, to have that be the color scheme. No problem, just do that. Go ahead and do tools and execute the selection again. And this time we'll see in a variety of greens in terms of the lightest green to the darkest greens in terms of the cigarette taxes per pack. Have a whole variety of color schemes you can use that are outlined again in the do file. I hope that you found this uh, basic tutorial helpful. It's very easy then to create maps within Stata.